Okay, so if you're going to stretch your barbed wire, take first off, you need your barbed wire stretching tool. He called it a golden rod, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, make sure that your release is opened up right there. That's how you're going to hold the barbed wire in place. So you want that one opened up. Because that's how you're going to tension it. And you want to slide it back toward this opposite end. And then this end right here, you need that end opened up as well. If you're wondering which two of these are to you, then whichever direction it moves toward, this one and the one it moves toward. Those are the ones you need. So take and slide it back. And open it up. Slide it back into place. And you get your barbed wire. Pull it tight, and Newman's going to help. He's going to close it up right there. Yeah. And that's good. Okay. And then, you can go ahead and trim this just a little. Hold my cutters. Here's AK and this AK. You can go ahead and trim this just a little bit. we got a lot of barbed wire here, so it won't matter. So you're going to come... And the way you know this is, there's going to be another piece of barbed wire. Right over here it is. And we're going to tie these two together. So on this one, going this direction, you want to cut it off right at that bar. So we'll go ahead and cut that off. Then we'll take our other piece of barbed wire. Pull it. Nice and tight, close it in there as well. And you're just going to take your golden rod, start ratcheting until it starts getting tight. And that right there is about good. You only need to go about as much as you can wrench it down. You don't need to keep going a whole, whole lot. So, and after that, I'll come back in here and see where we need to cut. So I'm going to cut this one off right about here. And then I'm going to cut this other one off right about here. If you want you a little bit of overlap, then you take your splice. Run it down up there. Get both pieces of barbed wire in there. And then whenever you're crimping these, these are made, you need to start at one side and crimp all the way across. Don't don't go back and forth or nothing, because what you'll do is if you if you start at one side and go all the way across, you'll expand that thing just a little bit. It ain't much longer, but it's a little bit longer, and it's flattened it all the way out. Then you can take and open these back up. There you have it. Nice tight bubble. Then we're going to reattach it to all the posts. <laughs> <laughs>